So please put your hands together for Mr. Gary Peterson! <laughs> I uh, I got into uh, a conversation with a girl, and uh, she was like, I don't date guys with kids. I was like, that's good. I live with my dad. Do you date kids with guys? Because that's how this is working, lady. I don't know how to talk to them. Like, even girlfriends that I've had, I had trouble talking to. Like, I had a girlfriend that would text message me things I didn't know how to respond to. You ever get one of those? It was like, I want to be your angel. I was like, oh. <laughs> I hope you die as well. Send. I'm getting nothing back. It's tough too when I was single trying to meet girls and they're like in dance clubs and stuff, which is not my strong suit. And these girls, they'd be doing this dance move, like, like this is the like their body's already saying no to me. You know what I mean? Just, <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> and so like that's not a good sign. And, Trying to like dance over to her, I'm the only one doing the exact moves from the Beat It video. And it's just a knife fight, and she's she's there, and and she starts dancing away from me, which is really sad if you realize it, which I didn't. Uh, so I'm just like, oh, where's this train going? I'll follow it. And just follow the girl. I wound up uh, cornering her into a drink, and uh, things are going okay. Got her a glass of Merlot. It's beautiful. It's just right there. Now I want to. I want to break the touch barrier. You know what I mean? I want to at least get a hug at the end of the night so I can push my erection into her. And whatever it says in the Bible. So she's here, and I go to break the touch barrier. I wind up slapping her wine into her breasts. Just Merlot all down her breasts. It's kind of like I'm this close to a tender moment. And everything gets ruined. Like. Imagine if in The Lady and the Tramp, when the two dogs have the spaghetti, and it's beautiful, and they're just about to kiss. Imagine the male dog bites the female dog in the face, <laughs> and then has to be put down. Like that's my sex life. I like food more than I like sex, because I don't have to lie to get chicken fingers. Uh, I can afford good food. Uh, I don't cry when I eat. There are a lot of reasons, everybody. I do like food. I like food too much. I realize this because, like, you ever do this? You ever wait till after midnight to go to Wendy's just so you don't go there twice in the same day? Like, that type of relationship with food. And I go to a place like this area kind of has like that hip element to it. And I went to like one of those like indie type ice cream places that you get, you know, the type of place where they're like, our napkins are made out of vegans. And so I'm like, sounds good. So I go in and I'm, I'm in line behind this woman and she's ordering and she's like, can I have this please? And I'm like, would you like that in a corner of a cup, ma'am? And she's like, chocolate. <laughs> I like that, you know, it's like she doesn't play by anybody's rules. Like if you were a census taker, call that woman up and be like, are you a Democrat or Republican? She'd be like, Tyrannosaurus, next question. My turn to order, remember, very liberally type place. I go up, I'm like, yeah, can I have a strawberry and a cup with Jimmy's on top, please? Some behind me goes, asshole. I go, excuse me? They're like, you're a racist. I'm like, what's happening right now? <laughs> like, Jimmy's, it's a slang term from the Jim Crow laws from segregation, so using that topping makes you a racist. I googled it. Jimmy's were invented by a guy named James Bartholomew who liked chocolate sprinkles on his ice cream. <laughs> That's it. That's the whole story. I'm white, I know what kind of guilt I have to have at this point in my life, you know what I mean? I even got kind of an extra neo-Nazi look to me, where I don't wave high at anybody. I don't buy white sheets. I've never said juice loudly. And I think if there were a racism attached to ice cream, I would have got that white guilt by some civil rights documentary. would be like, I wish men of all flavors could be twisted together atop a cone or a cup in peace and harmony. But it doesn't exist. 
which means somewhere out there somewhere, someone is inventing racist topics. Just for the hell, like a guy in a room with walnuts, and he's like, ooh, time to get the pull-ups. <laughs> like, why are you doing that? I, uh, I gotta get out of here, because I don't want to be here anymore. But uh, you guys have been great. Thank you very much.